Hey guys, Rickshaw and little Rickshaw. Say hello, mister. Hello. <laughs> That's my little guy. He's got his game. And we picked up some stuff when we were out the other day, so he's cool. He's got us 100 games in that box for like 12 bucks, so he's happy about that. But uh, we, we uh, just got a thing here. There's a, there's a dude. Let me check. Yeah, we're still on. Uh, this is the third take because my camera keeps shutting off. So don't know what's going on with it. I have to keep checking it. But uh, if you go down here to the end of the street, make a left-hand turn, and you go up about five or six streets, uh, that's completely closed off because they brought this COVID dude in. He was a seafarer. He's walking around in fine, and he was held in the quarantine at the seafarer place, and everything seemed fine. So now they took him here. So now it's this big COVID disaster here uh, because he lives here. So he's all locked up in his place, I guess, from what I understand. I mean, if he's a bad COVID patient, why in intensive care? But he's home. He's walking around. Neighbors tell me he's, you know, he's walking around. So... He's not really sick. I don't know about this stuff that they're doing. But uh, things are kind of locked up. We have the neighbor across the street. They get uh, food deliveries. They have a business where they do food. We get, we get really good sausage and stuff from them. And they deliver stuff. So they get these deliveries in. Well, you know, the curfews from 4.30 till 8 and all this stuff. Well, the delivery people always come 3, 3.30. A lot of times I'm up sitting here when the guy comes. And they wouldn't let him in security wouldn't let him in well the security guards you know like what the neighbor said he goes it's not their fault they're getting 10 different people telling them what to do so they're discombobulated i just wish when something like this was going on that there would be one direction of what people should do Hello. Oh, and okay good but it's not like that here. You got 10 different people telling you 10 different things what to do. And these guys are afraid of losing their job. I mean, that's how it is. That's how it is in this country. You make one mistake, your job is done, guys. And it's a nothing paying job. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's funny here. So that's where we're at now. It's, it's tough to get in and out now because of the, the, the COVID dude. We got a COVID dude. And I get, I don't know how many months are they going to keep him COVID active or something. I, who knows? Uh, I just wish they would, you know, pick a, pick a time limit on these people. I, sh I see all these numbers that they say, oh, these people are recovered. And there's a small amount recovered for the people who have it. Well, what do they do? They, they have it for three, four, five months, maybe? I don't know. It, it seems odd to me that, you know, you get it. If you don't, not showing symptoms, I, I'm seeing that if you have... COVID, you're asymptomatic and you can't even pass it. And then I'm also seeing where they take this swab and they stick it all the way to the back of your head, almost to the back of your head to get a swab. But one uh, a person walking around, one little droplet will affect the whole development. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm at a loss, guys. I'm, I'm just at a loss at this COVID thing that they're doing. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. But... Uh, Another thing that came up today that I, uh, yesterday I was I was looking online. Uh, I had I had service today. Today no service, but yesterday I was looking at the service, and they're they're talking about allowing these back riders on the motorcycles if it's your wife or family member. And they show this woman, and she's got this big plastic shield she's <laughs> that she's got to carry between her and her husband. Now. This is just me snowballing here. I'm not saying this is right or wrong, but just think of something. She's holding this big, humongous plastic shield. They're driving down the road. Everything's fine. la -ti da He's got to make an emergency maneuver because there's some bonehead pulled out in front of him. She's holding a plastic shield, not her husband. She can't grab him. She can't grab the bike. She falls off the back, gets hit by a dump truck. I would have to honestly say that's a COVID death, wouldn't you? That's just my opinion. But the other thing, here's another thing about this plastic shield that they're, <laughs> that they're talking, they're talking about it. I don't know if it's gonna happen, they're just talking about it. Something I've observed in my lifetime of riding motorcycles with my wife behind me and other people's wives behind them, 
I have never seen a wife get off of a motorcycle with her face all covered in her husband's sputum or saliva. I just never seen that. That's just an observation I have. Okay, but the screen, I guess, keeps keeps that non-existent saliva off of her, I, I guess. Now, the other thing, here's another thing that happened to me. I used to have this uh, uh, 850 GLZ Suzuki. I, had a, I put a big windscreen on it because I drove it year-round, even in the winter. As long as there was no snow on the ground, I drove it. And we had a lot of, you know, dry, freezing cold days. 20 degree days, but no snow on the ground. So I would drive that thing. And I put a windscreen on it because of the cold weather. Try to keep the wind off of me. Wind chill factor. Well, I had this really cool little uh, ashtray that was like a beanbag thing that I would sit behind the windshield on there and I would chew gum because I, you know, I, my ears would pop when I would drive the bike. So I went ahead and, and uh, would put, I always put my wrappers inside that little ashtray because I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a junkie. I'm not going to throw garbage on the ground, you know, like they do here in the Philippines. People get, they go buy something at a sorry, sorry store. They open it up, the package up and they throw the garbage on the ground. I refuse to do that. I'm, I'm not, a, I guess I'll never become a Filipino because I'm never going to do that. I do not do that. So I, I went to throw this thing inside the little thing and it got out of my finger and I'm doing about 80 miles an hour on the, on the highway. Uh, what is that in kilometers? Pretty quick. I'm, I'm cooking. And it floated up between me and the, and the windscreen for the longest time. I was watching it. I put my hands back on the handlebars and it was just doing this thing, flopping it, floating around in there. And I thought, wow, that's pretty interesting. I finally grabbed it and I stuck it in my pot, in my shirt pocket. I had, I had this refrigerator uh, suit that I wore. It had these snap pockets on the front. I stuck it in there and uh, I got to work. And I was thinking, thought that was pretty cool. Well, so now if you've got this screen that you have, uh, now if your husband does hack <coughs> a big gloogie out or something, it's gonna shoot right past you. But, but if he, if he, she's got holding this big old screen, I would think that it's going to go around there and start spinning around and give her a really good chance of sucking that baby up. That, that's just me. Now I'm wondering, the person who came up with this screen idea, uh, does he have an aeronautical engineer degree? <laughs> I mean, I'd, I would just like to know. I'm not saying, you know, this, this screen's good or bad or anything I'm just wondering I would like to know uh, is it really gonna help I look in these jeepneys now and I see these big spaces with plastic in there and stuff like that and it, it does that really help is there some kind of you know they're going on these gods of science I would like to see a scientific study inside a jeepney where they where they shoot some kind of spores in there and see if this actually really is helping you know, let's see, prove it, <laughs> you know, prove, don't just do it, prove it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sitting back here going, my goodness, th there's a lot of things going on here. You know, does somebody have a plastic concession? Uh, and this windscreen, who owns that? You know, who's going to start making those? You know, is this some sort of an insider trading deal? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just asking, guys. There's something going on here with all this stuff. So, I don't know. I'm just going to just say Rick Shaw out today. Okay? God bless y'all.